Hello, everyone. I'm mm -hmm. Shi Song Tang, a first year graduate student at Tsinghua University. Uh, it's my honor to attend the web conference to share a paper with you guys. Today, I'm going to present a paper about video popularity prediction. This work was done with the support of Biden's. Now, uh, I will present our work in each of the following sections. Uh, nowadays, uh, video platforms have, have huge traffic. The micro video platform on Badance, Douyin, and TikTok presented to users uh, as fake streams. Uh, major video platform, Shigua Video, and uh, YouTube presented to users uh, in the form of writing match. And uh, predicting the whole videos of the moment from the huge amount amount of videos has a very important role in maintaining the platform ecology and increasing the goodwill of users. We can leverage the popularity of videos for many downstream tasks, such as recommendation as an edge catching strategy. Uh, there are three main popularity prediction schemes. Uh, traditional feature-based uh, methods mainly leverage user features, content features, temporal features, and structural features to conduct a popularity prediction. However, such approaches heavily depend on well-designed handcraft features, which limits the, mo the model's scalability. Uh, some researchers performed video popularity, video popularity prediction based on Hux process, although, su although such approaches do not require excessive feature engineering. They usually make strong assumptions on fixed parameters, which limits model which limits model expressiveness. Uh, recently, a large number of deep learning based models have been proposed to improve the performance of video popularity prediction. Um, however, for video popularity prediction, few works address the following three challenges. Uh, first. Uh, mental data from online videos is fast and noisy, which makes it difficult to learn a, a stable and a robust representation. Uh, the influence of content features and uh, temporal features in uh, different life cycles of online videos is dynamic changing. Uh, uh, what's more, in, interpreting the predictive behavior of the model. Uh, to address to address to, to address uh, these this challenges, we propose uh, the knowledge we propose the knowledge based uh, temporal fusion network. Uh, we regard the knowledge graph based uh, online video popularity prediction task as a regression as a regression problem. Uh, the input uh, uh, the input consists of two parts. Um. Uh. One. Uh. The content feature. Uh. It. Uh. It is a knowledge graph for consisting of content features. Uh. Letter variety matches, and uh, another. Uh. Is the temporal feature. Uh. N time steps of time series data. And the output uh, is the cumulative uh, popularity of video I in m time steps after ten after ten m uh, the ktfm consists of three components uh, first uh, the tree attention network uh, for extracting content features uh, second uh, it is our Attention based LCTM for extracting temporal features. Uh, third, uh, it is our, it is an adaptively uh, temporal feature fusion uh, using a learnable exponential uh, decay function. And this is uh, the KTFM uh, framework. Uh, first, uh, for the tree attention networks, uh, 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 for the tree attention networks, uh, we first uh, uh, convert the a uh, graph 
uh, the graph structures into tree structure, uh, and uh, we convert the the relation nodes, the relation the relation the re, the re, relations of knowledge graph into nodes and finally I, we will get uh, our we will get our tree structure like this uh secondly um, secondly we uh, for the information propagation uh we use the uh, graph attention network for feature attraction uh, they we use the following formulas to calculate the neighbor the neighbor node representation of each node. Uh, and then uh, third, we can, we, uh, for the information aggregation, uh, we, pre we provide three schemes of information aggregation. And in this paper, uh, by, interac by interaction aggregation uh, is used. Uh, the third part is the uh, adaptively temp temporal feature fusion. Um, in this way, uh, we learn the content feature representation of the. Uh, in, in this way, uh, in this way, uh, we learn the content feature uh, representation, and uh, we learn the temporal feature, uh, and uh, we learn the temporal feature fusion. Uh, of the video by the attention based LSTM. And let, let, H, let, H, let HE and uh, HC uh, denote the content feature representation and uh, temporal feature representation, respectively. Uh, we believe that at the edge of the video increases, the importance of content features gradually decreases, uh, while the importance of temporal features gradually increases. Therefore, according to this, uh, we designed a learnable exponential uh, decay function that filters, uh, uh, the, that filters the two vectors uh, mm, to fail to this uh, dynamic change in importance. Uh, it's like this, and uh, we uh, and we can get the new HE and the New HC. Mm, and the delta t is the edge of video. Uh, after that, uh, uh, we use the after that we use the attention to fuse the filtered features to obtain the final representation. And this is the whole uh, framework of adaptive temporal feature fusion. Um, now uh, we will. I will introduce the experiments. Mm, uh, we collect a media video dataset and a macro uh, video dataset from the server logs of Shigua video and Douyin, uh, respectively. Uh, both of them are online video sharing platforms owned by ByteDance. Uh, the left table uh, shows the statistical information of the dataset. And the right fingers show the distribution information of the dataset, uh, including radio uh, duration, radio categories, and the distribution of total number of videos published by authors. Uh, uh, here, here they, and here is the our com, com, and here is the comparison between KTFM and the benchmark model, uh, mm, uh, the MSE, MAE, ACC are used uh, to uh, evaluate uh, the performance. Uh, the, ACC, the ACC measures uh, the proportion of videos correctly pre predicted for a given error tolerance, uh, Ypsilon, and we see it, uh, Ypsilon, uh, 0 0.0.2 0 .2 in our paper. And here uh, they diff uh, and here is the different feature uh, fusion uh, schemes are compared. Uh, and we can see uh, all our proposed uh, uh, feature fusion 
um, method has better results compared to some contact and attention. Um, because the RP post the feature fusion uh, method um, uh, um, can, uh, can, uh, can be able to fit the a natural decay process of the importance of different of different features. Um, uh, here, uh, the effect of different uh, information aggregations, uh, aggregators in tree attention network is showing here. And we can see that uh, by interaction works best because of its ability to perform full interaction. And uh, in this part, uh, we explore we we explore the impact of different kinds of information on the prediction results under the uh, scenario of missing central information in the test phase, including duration, uh, pu uh, publish all keywords category, and also we conduct uh, we conduct uh, uh, experiments uh, with the trained KDFM model. As expected, the lack of any information uh, decrease the performance of our model, uh, which indicates that the inf information we use is all uh, effective for the prediction task. Mm, uh, what's more, we, ob we observe that um, we observe a sharp, a sharp decrease in our model uh, performance by emulating author information. Uh, suggesting that uh, author information is critical uh, in popularity prediction. Uh, the popularity of, of videos is a long tail distribution, and videos uh, posted by authors with more fans are more likely to be seen by people, leading to a winner take, leading to a winner takes all situation. Mm. Um, finally, to uh, dis uh, to dis uh, to demonstrate uh, the interpretability of KTFM, uh, we randomly select uh, two predict videos uh, uh, from the test set. Uh, as showing in the in this finger, on uh, the left the left uh, uh, half of this uh, uh, sub sub finger shows the result of true attention network. And the right half shows the attention scores of attention based LSTM. And uh, the top uh, and the top weights is the uh, adaptive temporal feature fusion parts. Um, that's all. Thanks for your listening. Um, sorry for my device. No, it's okay. So I can also hear your presentation very well, and then it's good presentation. And then, so, all right. So are there any questions from the audience? Yeah, okay. Then actually I have one question, I accept a question, but because of the time, so I need to ask one question. All right, uh, and then actually, uh, so, um, you show that so your models are outperformed on predicting the popularity in a video platform. Then can you also use your uh, ideas and then the methodologies to predict the other kinds of the platforms such as Instagram, which is the photo, and actually there is a video, but anyways, so the photo popularity or the Twitter. So we don't know the tweet itself is a text. So can you also apply it? And then what kind of features or the other kinds of, what kind of features or other things we need to consider to apply the other domains? Uh, actually, mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the model is uh, um, universal uh, because uh, uh, you just uh, there are two things. Uh, one, they, uh, they predict things uh, uh, of content features and uh, you just need to um, convert the content features into uh, the knowledge graph and uh, they uh, and, uh, another uh, uh, you need uh, is a time series data, um, uh, and uh, you can uh, get the uh, temporal uh, feature representation. Uh, 
and the final the feature weapon and the final uh, feature fusion method uh, is uh, universal for uh, any um, any task uh, that uh, um, satisfies uh, the um, uh, the proper the property. Oh yeah. Okay, I understand it.